What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and now I have for you a short video. We're going to go through some of the threats to expect from Mega Pokemon in the Battle of Hoenn competition. Now, of course, if you find this video useful, be sure to leave a like and be sure to share it with other people. We can get some wonderful comments going down there in the comment section talking about other threats that you may have think I missed or different ways to deal with things. Now, of course, in the Battle of Hoenn competition, uh, you can only use Pokemon in the Hoenn decks. Um, this excludes, of course, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Jirachi, Deoxys, and any Pokemon that you use has to be captured or hatched in X, X and Y, Omega Ruby, or Alpha Sapphire. Now, there are over 20 Mega Pokemon that can be used uh, in this tournament. Of course, some of them were already uh, released in X and Y, but Oris gave us a lot of new options as well. Now, with the three starter Pokemon, uh, Sceptile, of course, Blaziken, and Swamper. We can predict relatively uh, easily what those types of Pokemon are going to do. I don't actually think you're going to see very much a Mega Blaziken, just because uh, a lot of people don't want to use up that Mega slot for Blaziken, when it can be almost just as effective, with just a little less attack power, as a regular Pokemon. But I do think that we will see some Mega Sceptile, just because of how fast it is. Um, and of course the immunity to electric type attacks and also Mega Swamper can set up rain or take advantage of rain dance. The Mega Sceptile is very susceptible to ice type attacks and it doesn't really have a good way of breaking through fairy types whereas Swamper, while it does get ice punch, uh, outside of that it is relatively slow so dealing with it with regular grass type attacks uh, or at the very least something like Cacturn, something that can come in on those water type attacks very easily uh, then threaten with priority, or at the very least, a stab grass type move. It is important to realize, of course, that Mega Sceptile does hit a blazing fast 145 base speed. So uh, if you don't have anything faster, a little bit of priority could help in there. But Sceptile does like to run Substitute uh, alongside Giga Drain, especially. So keep that in mind if you're trying to use something like Sucker Punch against it. Um, I, again, I don't think we'll see much Blaziken. But if you do see a Mega Blaziken, uh, it already does get speed boost in its regular form. But please keep in mind when it goes Mega, it gets an astounding 160 base attack. Um, it's worth running Protect on a couple of Pokemon if you don't otherwise have it. That way, if you come in contact with a Mega Blaziken, you can protect a scout for the high jump kick and maybe it'll hurt itself. Uh, Swampert, of course, outside of creating rain for itself with Rain Dance and taking advantage of that Swift Swim ability, uh, can also hit very hard with access now um, in the new move tutors to moves like uh, super power and to a lesser extent uh, low kick uh, and you may see other weird moves I, I guarantee if you see a swamp it probably has ice punch on it because um, otherwise it can't touch grass types but interesting Pokemon there now of course also some Pokemon that are old that we might run into are going to be things like Gardevoir Gardevoir now can actually have access officially to Hyper Voice before you had to get it from black and white. Now, uh, with the new move tutors, you might see uh, Gardevoir because of the pixelate ability. Because Hyper Voice is a very powerful attack. And remember that Hyper Voice does go through substitutes. So do not try to set up a substitute on a Mega Gardevoir. It is still relatively slow, so it's easy to deal with. Um, unless it traces speed boost or something like that, I would be careful with sending out a speed boost on uh, your um, either your... Blaziken or your uh, Sharpedo, just because of uh, Mega Gardevoir or uh, 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 Gallade before it Mega Evolves traces a speed boost, you might have a big monster to deal with. But with that being said, Metagross actually handles Gardevoir pretty easily, um, whether it be with regular Steel type Bullet Punch or Meteor Mash, or just the fact that Gardevoir can't really do much to it. Now, Gallade is a different monster altogether. We do have Mega Metacham this generation, but I don't think we're gonna see very much of him, uh, just because Gallade, number one, is new and shiny, but also Gallade kind of does what Mega Metacham does a little bit easier. Uh, Gallade is significantly faster in its Mega form with 110 base speed as opposed to base 100. And of course, it has um, much uh, better bulk, well, not much better, it has relatively better bulk than Mega Metacham. I mean, you might see something like bulk up, or like I mentioned in my uh, overview video, I have an overview video for all the Mega Pokemon that I'm discussing from the new Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire stuff. So you may see some of the things we talked about in that video, but otherwise, it's relatively easy to deal with Mega Gallade. 
uh, as long as you can expect the sword sneak, sword, swords, wow, sword sneak, swords, dance, and shadow sneak combination. Uh, priority burn from something like a Sableye or just a uh, general priority attack. Since it is part psychic, it's still going to take a good amount of damage from a Sucker Punch. Uh, otherwise, it's it's a little bit weaker here on the defensive side, so you're better off trying to whittle it down on that side, of course. 